I've been involved in enterprise architecture initiatives for a number of organisations and one of the things that I've learnt over the years is that too much enterprise architecture is even worse than not enough enterprise architecture. Too much enterprise architecture is characterised by special rooms wallpapered with wiring diagrams that have cost months and even years of expensive consultant time to create and which no one refers to. Large hidebound manuals of enterprise architecture diagrams that the authors are frustrated to find are unread by 99.9% .9 of the organisation and their temptation is to run around beating people around the head with these enterprise architecture manuals uh, expecting to beat people into submission to adhere to their principles and diagrams. But that's just not happening. If enterprise architecture isn't communicable to the wider organisation, it's not worth the paper it's written on. One of the things that I've tried to do in the last couple of organisations is find a collective of those who care about enterprise architecture and use them as that leading group to then communicate to the extent that's meaningful with a range of others in the organisation about that architecture and what it means. It's really a joining up process, it's a kind of joining of the dots from business strategy through the enterprise architecture into uh, the IT portfolio of services and projects and the other investments that the organisation makes in order to realise the business strategy. This can be quite lightweight and its purpose after all is to ensure engagement, that there's an engaged conversation between the business and IT, a kind of fusion of the business and IT to deliver these results. If it's not helping in that process, it's not worth the paper it's written on, so why are you doing it? So come back to enterprise architecture as a kind of social tool. You can almost see it as a party device, a party game, a way of getting people engaged in the organisation in that conversion, that taking of strategy of the organisation through to a selective set of IT projects and services that are going to deliver what's required. Think about it as a social process, think about it as a game, think about it as engagement, and think about it as something that has to be communicable. If people can't communicate it and understand it, again, it's not worth the paper it's written on.